Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the show. Um, in today's episode, I'm going to be talking about some of my opinions I had on uh, E3 2014. Some of the games I'm looking forward to, what I thought about a couple of them, stuff like that. So, um, to start to start it off, let's uh, mention a couple of games that people were looking forward to that were announced. Such as uh, Far Cry, Assassin's Creed. Actually, Assassin's Creed wasn't really announced to my knowledge, but uh, it was there. Um, there was one that was surprised me that it was being there. I didn't think they were going to make another one. But, um, anyway, talk about a couple of them real quick. Uh, Far Cry 4 looks really good. It's set in the Himalayas, uh, India area. Hopefully you guys know that. Um, it looks, it looks pretty good. They stick to the Far Cry feel of how I thought 2 and 3, uh, 2 and 3 accomplished. Where, uh, yes, 3 had more skills, more evolution of the character, stuff like that. But um, I really liked Far Cry 3 and 2. Hopefully they'll stick to the really good storytelling and gameplay and not lose either one of them trying to go next gen, or technically current gen, with uh, you know the high graphics and stuff like that. But Far Cry 4 looked really amazing. And if I can figure out how to do annotations or throw in videos, I'll put a link to the video I saw. Let's see. Somewhere in this general area, probably the top left corner. Probably like right in there somewhere. That looks good. <laughs> anyway, so Far Cry 4 looks really good. And then, supposedly, from what I heard, it's suppo you're supposed to be able to explore the island in co-op, or the area in co-op, which would be really cool. Uh, I'm a big co-op game player. I know I've done a lot of single-player games on my channel, or I'm going to, but uh, I hope to start getting some friends doing so I have friends. Getting some friends to join me in co-op games and stuff. So, so that way you guys don't just have to listen to my beautiful voice, but uh, you'll get some other people too, and hopefully some really good games. Um, that being said, it, like I said, Far Cry 4 is supposed to be co-op. Uh, Assassin's Creed Unity. Um, I'll throw an annotation of it, I don't know, right here near my near my window area. And sorry about the light, guys, but this is the only chance I have to record right now. Um, I'll throw an annotation for it right in here, the video I watched. Uh, it's supposed to be co-op also. Which would be really cool, and if you watch the video, it uh, you'll really you'll really see that if they do it fully co-op, it's gonna be interesting to say the least. But it's gonna be really cool. So watch that video if you get a chance. If I have the annotation, if not, I'll link in the description. But hopefully, I can figure out how to do those. So Far Cry 4 looks really good. Assassin's Creed Unity looks really good, co-op wise, and it's set in the French Revolution, the, the dawn of the French Revolution. So it'll be. Watch that video, like I said. You'll, you'll get it all. Just watch that video. Uh, a game that surprised me that I didn't I didn't expect going into watching some of the E3 videos was uh, Dead Island 2. They had Dead Island 1, and then they had Dead Island Riptide. But truthfully, Riptide kind of just felt more of... Kind of felt like more of... Almost like a really big DLC. Uh, that being said, it was its own standalone game. Uh, it came at a discounted price to start, but it, it was its own standalone game. But it was really, uh, like, continued directly off where Dead Island 1 left off. Which, granted, that is good storytelling, but also, like, they start you off where you automatically have 15 skill points. So it's kind of like they knew that they were just expanding on the Dead Island 1 storyline and almost, like I said, a really big DLC. However, I really did like Riptide. Don't get me wrong, I, I like the Dead Island series, I love it. And uh, hopefully Dead Island 2, which I'll, I don't know, bottom left, why not, uh, link a video to it. It's, uh, the trailer they showed, is it's, it's just funny, personally. But uh, hopefully, like, hopefully they'll have funny moments in the game, but hopefully they'll also um, stick to kind of the seriousness of the game. Because uh, Dead Island 1 and Riptide, especially Riptide, were very dark at times. Just storyline-wise, character-wise, but it was, uh, overall, I like the Dead Island series, so I'm anxious to see how Dead Island 2 is set in California, uh, the, the island of California. Uh, it's, I'm, gonna be, I'm anxious to see how it's going to be set up, how it's going to play, and uh, like the other Dead Island games, it's going to be co-op. They said they may make it eight-player multiplayer, either multiplayer or co-op. I don't know how that's going to work, because Dead Island, to me, feels more like just a co-op zombie killing fest with a storyline behind it and stuff and getting to know the characters funny moments stuff like that i don't know how eight player multiplayer or co-op would work in the dead island setting but eh, 
we'll see. It worked for Left 4 Dead, so, uh, and no, they still haven't announced Left 4 Dead 3 officially. As far as I know. Don't quote me on that. Uh, what else? What else? What else? Uh, some mentions real quick, of course. I've got, if, if you notice, I look down every now and then. I've got my phone set up with a list of things I want to talk about. Um, mentions, there's another Call of Duty coming out. I know how people, I know how people feel about Call of Duty. They're like, oh, it's just the same thing each year. Just, you know, they repaste it, just recopy and paste it. Uh, yeah, there, there are some moments where it feels very much like the game was just, uh, Sorry, talking in my hand there. Was just, um, obviously, it's a first person shooter, very fast paced, especially the multiplayer. And yes, I know there's a whole Battlefield versus Call of Duty versus bleh uh, argument, but uh, my opinion on that is you can't compare them because Battlefield is very realistic, Call of Duty is just a fast paced shooter. Um, in, an infantry gun, an infantry shooter, whereas a uh, battlefield is more along the vehicles, squad setup, stuff like that. So hard to compare the two, truthfully. I mean, they both are first-person shooters, but I digress back to what I was talking about. Uh, Call of Duty: Advanced Warfare. It looks pretty good. Um, Kevin, I think it's Kevin Spacey, is the main bad guy. Uh, I think it's Kevin Spacey. Y'all are gonna kill me if I'm wrong, but I think it's him. And uh, it, it looks pretty interesting. I'll give it that. I know ba uh, Battlefield. <laughs> I know Black Ops 2 did the whole, um, did the whole, uh, what's it called? Futuristic storyline. But uh, it looks pretty good. Um, anyway, I know it's just another Call of Duty game to most people, but it looks pretty good to me. Uh, I'm going to try to tone my voice down a little bit. <laughs> uh, Battlefield Hardline looks interesting. I don't want to say it's a cops and robbers game, but it's very... That's what it, it looks like. I don't know if it's domestic terrorism or what it is, but it looks very... I don't want to say cops and robbery, but that's kind of what I'm leaning towards. Because the trailer that they showcased was... Kind of had that feel to it. Because it showed a bunch of cop cars, a bunch of like SWAT vans, stuff like that. So I don't know if it's domestic terrorism or what it is. But uh, anyway. And then, of course, Halo 5 and the Halo Chief... The Halo Chief... The Halo Master Chief Collection come out for Xbox One. Uh, I think it's this November. And, uh, anyway. Uh, the Master Chief Collection is the first, is the first one through four. Halo 1, 2, 3, and 4. Combat Evolved through 4. Um, sorry for repeating that so much. And they, uh, they remastered them 1080 IP, whatever the highest one is. And it looks very good. Sergeant Johnson, my, my favorite Halo character. Besides Chief. Sergeant Johnson looks amazing. Anyway, so Halo's coming out, Halo 5, Call of Duty, Battlefield, um, let's see. Now there's two games I'm really looking forward to. One was a huge surprise for me that I was not expecting. One of them I was expecting and not disappointed in the way they showcased it, but I wish we would have seen more of the game itself and not so much just about the developer. However, that being said, Star Wars Battlefront, the one being made by DICE, DICE is quickly becoming my favorite developer. Uh, for that reason, they're doing Star Wars Battlefront. No, um, just because they're very reliable. I know a lot of people, um, Battlefield 4, a lot of people didn't like how it was rushed out. You can't blame DICE for that. They're the ones who developed it, but EA pushed them to have the release date before Ghost came out. So, but granted, DICE did fix a lot of the issues from what I've heard. I have yet to play it, so, again, don't quote me on anything I say about Battlefield um, 4. Star Wars Battlefront, though, the trailer I saw, I'll put it, I don't know, I guess top right again, looks really good. It looks very, uh, it looks very realistic. It looks very much like they truthfully are putting a ton of effort into it. It looks just phenomenal from what I've seen, which, again, the trailer's right there, if I can figure out the annotations. Um, so Star Wars Battlefront, really looking forward to it. Comes out 2015. I'm so excited for it because I'm a huge Star Wars fan, huge Battlefront fan, and uh, just I, I'm very, <laughs> very excited for it. Um, that being said, the biggest surprise for me at E3 this year was Rainbow Six Siege. I didn't know it was being announced. I knew they had canceled Patriots because I don't know if it's they didn't like where it was going or because some of the stuff they were going to talk about ended up being very close to some of the stuff that's happened recently. But um, all I know is Rainbow Six Siege. I'll, I'll link the trailer for sure in the top left corner right here. I'll link it um, or in the description. 
if I can't figure that out. It looks phenomenal. It is incredibly, you have to communicate in it. There's no, everyone has no mic, just kind of running and gunning. It doesn't seem like it'll work. It looks phenomenal. Graphics wise, um, I'm sure there's a couple problems, but think about it. This is not even alpha that they're working with right now. So it looks, I think it's, I think the trailer even said it's pre-alpha footage, but anyway. It's just a multiplayer match that they showed, yes, but still, it looks very squad based, it looks very, very good. So I trust, I trust the developer, I forgot who's doing it, but uh, they, it looks, it looks incredible. And it looks very fun. So I'll give them that, it looks very fun. And uh, let's see. That kind of sums up my the E3 that I really truly liked. Of course, Mass Effect 4 was announced, and not much of it. Just kind of like, hey, we're doing Mass Effect 4. But uh, so I'll have more details on that whenever it comes out. And uh, let's see, anything else I want to talk about? Um, not truthfully. I do have one more Hotline Miami video I'm gonna upload. Um, don't know how much I'm. I'm I may play through the game by myself to see how dark it gets because it gets pretty bad, especially the point I'm at in the game. But uh, I digress. I got one more Hotline Miami video to upload. Uh, I'm gonna keep working on Bastion every now and then. Um, the Forest, that's it. The Forest had a not a huge update, but it had a very big update come out where it uh, they changed a bunch of things, added a bunch of stuff, changed a couple of small things. Overall, just trying to make it improve it some more. So um, if y'all saw my first video, you know, it's the timer in the bottom left corner of the screen during the video. It, uh, or the title screen, um, that, that update finally came out. I updated it. So uh, anxious to play, I'm going to record it whenever I do. Um, and uh, they, they put a bunch of changes in. I'm going to try to showcase all of them if I can. And uh, so look forward to that in the next, within the next week. Uh, oh yeah, big news. I'm going to start, sorry, I kind of keep looking off this thing again. I'm gonna start a. Uh, I'm gonna start my first horror series, true horror series. Uh, the forest is survival horror, but it's not truthfully scary. Um, I'll show you. The first video I didn't show you guys this, but there are things on the island. I'll show you in this next video. It's not scary. It's just kind of they're kind of an annoyance uh, until they get the combat fully situated. It's kind of annoying. But anyway, um, I'm gonna start my first horror, true horror RPG series. Not necessarily RPG, but it is made by Bethesda. Um, so no, it's not Amnesia. <laughs> not yet. I will get to that. Don't worry, I will get to it. But, uh, anyway, this video is running on very long, so sorry for the super long vlog, but I just wanted to kind of talk about E3, get some more information out there for you guys, and, uh, so I will be seeing you guys very shortly, uh, as soon as I get some stuff recorded and get it going, so thank you guys for watching as always. Um, click the annotations that I threw around for the various videos and the different parts of the the different parts of the um, this vlog and anyway uh, I'll link all of them in the description regardless if I can figure out the annotations or not so thank you for watching I'll see you guys very shortly take care everybody goodbye